Technology has advanced so much that you can now easily create fake videos and images. With the help of digital technologies, you can easily replace a person's face with that of another individual. What's more worrying? Social media is flooded with such bogus videos. Deepfake technology is becoming increasingly accessible. And now there are fears that it could be used to advance disinformation in the run-up to the 2024 US elections. Our next story gets you more details. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time even if they would never say those things. So, if Ron DeSantis got watch assaulted, this video. I'd be fine with that. I mean, the one thing I know about Ron is that when push comes to shove, Ron listen to what Hillary saying. Clinton says. I actually like Ron DeSantis a lot. Yeah, I know. I'd say he's just the kind of guy this country needs, and I really mean that. An obvious question here is, why is she endorsing her opponent? Well, this video may look real, but the fact is, it's bogus. In other words, it's a deep fake video. Deep fakes are videos and images that are digitally created or altered with artificial intelligence. Such videos are usually so flawless that they can fool anyone. This will be impossible to fix. Calm down, everyone. They are designed to deceive people, spread propaganda, and influence public opinion. In other words, miscreants use high-tech tools to realistically superimpose celebrity faces on actors in staged videos. Now, the same technology is being used to influence the US presidential elections. Here is another example. This fake video shows US President Joe Biden unleashing a cruel rant at a transgender person. You will never be a real woman. You have no womb, you have no ovaries, you have no eggs. These fabricated videos are created by AI algorithms trained on online footage. What you see is not real. Such deep fakes are now frequently surfacing on social media. They are blurring fact and fiction in the polarized world of US politics. While such synthetic media has been around for several years, it's been turbocharged over the past year by a slew of new generative AI tools, such as Midjourney. These tools make it cheap and easy to create convincing deepfakes. Unfortunately, the implications are dire. which means it's going to be very difficult for voters to distinguish the real from the fake. And just imagine how either Trump's supporters or Biden supporters could use this technology to make the opponent look bad. They know that I lied and cheated. They know that I colluded with Russia. And now I have to answer for all the terrible things I did. I will not stand in their way. Deep Media, a company working on tools to detect synthetic media, reports that there has been a massive increase in deepfake videos and audio lately. There have been three times as many video deepfakes of all kinds and eight times as many voice deepfakes posted online this year compared to the same period in 2022. According to Deep Media estimates, in total about 500,000 video and voice deepfakes will be shared on social media site globally in 2023. As the tech sector is engaging in an AI arms race, tools that can generate deepfakes are being released with few or imperfect guardrails to prevent harmful misinformation. 
While major social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter and YouTube have made efforts to prohibit and remove deepfakes, their effectiveness at policing such content varies. Industry leader OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, is itself struggling with the issue. The American people and people all over the world are standing with them and we always will. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has acknowledged the need for AI regulation as he fears that the use of AI could interfere with election integrity. OpenAI may take steps to restrict the use of AI products in politics, but the guardrails still have gaps. Political consultancies are also seeking to harness AI, further muddying the line between real and unreal. As we head into the 2024 presidential race, it becomes important to crack down on the growing misuse of AI technologies. Unfortunately, we know what needs to be done, but no one is certain where the generative AI road leads or how to effectively guard against its power for mass misinformation. Therefore, experts believe that mitigating the risk of AI should now be a global priority.